It's Kate from Venison for Dinner, and we have a new thrift store haul. We got two sets of the little skates that like strap onto the bottom. And then this is the other set. So I got one for each of Rowan and Amos. So we just tucked them up here out of the way. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Wherever the subscription button is. Somewhere there's a subscription button on this screen. You'll find it. You're a smart cookie. I got this pack of 18 Christmas cards because the girls are very into sending and to writing Christmas cards. So I thought this would be very fun for them. Um, okay, we needed some dog blankets and they have a dog blanket bin, so they're $2. This one I'm pretty sure was accidentally put in because it feels like an alpaca and alpaca looks like it has dog hair quite often on it. I have an alpaca sweater and I've seen lots of them. I'm gonna wash it and see what it looks like because it's it was three dollars because the woman's like I actually think that was accidentally put in there and it doesn't have a price tag on it because it says like two dollars or as labeled and she was like I'm gonna charge you three dollars for this and I was like that's fine by me so it's a pretty nice blanket um see this is the other blanket it's also like a wool blend that I got for the dogs and then this is a wool I think it's a poncho because it got a hole there it's really thick and folded in half. It'll be perfect for the dogs and it's a dollar. This wool sweater, they have like a craft sweater bin. Sweaters that are like shrunken or falling apart wool sweaters and they're cheap. It was a dollar fifty, I think. I think it's just fine. And I think this would be super cute. Like it's a shorter one and shorter ones are really nice over dresses. Last thing clothing I got was pair of sweatpants for Rowan because I want to have some things for her to just put over top of her leggings when it's not really um because she lives in merino leggings most of the time but it's not always like snow pants season sometimes she wants to go outside in her leggings but she needs a little bit more so to have like some sweatpants she can just put over top of her wool leggings also very exciting times Let's see um hey, Mr. I also got a math book for Freya and a cute little bowl hat that didn't make it inside. Um, so there you go. That's my thrift store finds for today. I was in town helping my mother-in-law. She's car shopping. So we were looking at a little Toyota secondhand, test driving it. We're going to take it for inspection. It's like an ultimate secondhand buy, right? You know, buying used vehicles. So. We always take vehicles, anything with an engine, to be inspected by our mechanic. Such cheap insurance to get it done beforehand. So we're gonna do that on Monday, today's Saturday. And maybe she's buying a new car next week. I have some fun things to show you, but I had to wait to show you till after Christmas, right? Because I can't show you Christmas presents before Christmas because my children watch the YouTube channel, of course. So also wanted to update you. My mother-in-law did end up buying that used car as we speak. She is, okay, not quite. She's at the doctor's right now. It's 10.30 in the morning. After that, she's going to buy the car. She made a deal. So they're going to do the paperwork. 2011 Toyota Corolla has like 111,000 kilometers, which is like 70,000 miles. Mint condition. Super excited for her. She has been having car issues for a while. And so, yeah, we done gone find her what hopefully is a good car we took it for an inspection at our mechanic and he was like the only thing i can find is that like an air filter should be changed and it needs brakes soon he was like this car is mint because we took it for an inspection to see if there's anything wrong but also you want to like an inspection is also a bit of a bargaining chip right like if it needs work you can use you know use that as a bargaining chip and we had nothing to bargain on so, good problem to have. Now I'm going to show you some Christmas presents. I'm not going to show you all the Christmas presents. I'm just going to show you the ones that I bought at the thrift store. Because yes, normalize used gifts, right? We do buy new things too, but there's lots of good presents to be found secondhand, friends. So for Freya, I got this purse at the thrift store. She's going to love it. Girls love a little bag. I mean, my boys do too. Children love 
a bag to carry things around in. So lots of nice little zipper pockets and everything, and I think it was about $2. Rowan, this adorable little owl purse. It was more expensive. It was $4. She's going to love that. I got these U tights brand new in the package, but um, I did not pay $12. I got them at the consignment store. These are for Rowan. And then I got two different bagged things. The thrift store likes to bag together toys. So I'm going to tell you right now, they are not getting all these things because some of them are kind of ridiculous. So this puzzle is for Amos. So a wooden puzzle for $3 essentially. I'm just going to donate the other thing if I don't like it. I wasn't opening it up till I was ready to wrap. I should probably wrap because today is Thursday and Christmas is Monday, but friends, we're just not there yet. So he's going to love this puzzle. And a wooden puzzle for $3? Yes, please. For Rowan, again, $3. We have an ABC puzzle and a number puzzle. And then, I don't even, I don't even know what that thing is. And this is like a clipboard. Maybe I'll she, give her the clipboard too because she'll like that for drawing. I don't know if she knows what Dora, who Dora is. So there you go. Then, the free store, which I've showed you guys before, I found these two games. I always wanted Operation when I was a kid. It seems like so much fun. I remember playing it at friends' houses. And Marius and I were talking about it. He also remembers it being fun. We know pieces are going to get lost. This is why we've never bought it. We also think it was probably so fun because we didn't have it. We just got to play it at friends' houses. But when it didn't cost you any money, when you lose pieces, it's not the end of the world. But it is in great condition and it's got a little drawer and it's got all the little pieces so they're gonna have lots of fun with that well that'll be a family gift and i'm gonna explain the family gift thing in a bit and then battleship the box is a little rough but everything is um totally intact in good shape we might be missing nope we got all the boats anyhow Battleship. They like that. They love Battleship. Um, not the best lighting, but I'm hiding in our bedroom here right now. So, family gifts. For probably three years now, we do something called game night snacks. So, we buy four to six game nights worth um, I think we started off with four, now we do six. And for each game night, we do one salty treat and one sweet treat. So like, these are things we don't normally buy. So one of them has like, fishy crackers and M&Ms. And, I mean for a family our size, a bag of fishy crackers and a bag of M&Ms is not a lot. Everybody gets like, a handful or so of each. But it's fun. We'll do like chips. Like I did that like Chicago popcorn. Although I can't eat that together. Right? Like you got to eat the caramel ones and then the cheese ones. I don't want to eat them together. We don't give them games for the game night snacks. They just get the snacks. And we often play a card game like Crazy Eights is really great for a family our size. Um, everybody is getting a new deck of cards in their stockings. And when we have not complete decks of cards what we do is we save them in a bag because for crazy eights you want more than one deck worth unless you're only a couple people playing and it doesn't matter if it's a complete deck so it's a great way to save cards to still use them once they're not a complete deck back to the game night snacks thing so i save some boxes because there's always boxes when you've ordered some things online and each box gets one salty and one sweet and then we wrap them and I number them one through six and starting in January once every week or two we have a game night and we take first the first box then the second one and they don't know what it is until that game night so we they get to see the boxes on Christmas Day but it's a delayed gratification of excitement so basically what we are giving them on Christmas is we are promising them that we are going to be taking the time this winter to have 
game nights. So there's that anticipation and excitement of the game nights. We usually try to just like set one night a week that we know will work and those become our game nights. Otherwise they're asking every night if we can do game night. Um, anyhow, this is a really fun thing because it's consumable and you can fit it to your family's dietary needs and budget and size really easily. It's an experience gift without it being an expensive experience because often experience gifts are actually like more expensive than just giving them a present, if you know what I mean. Um, by the time you go out and do your experiences and such. So it's an inexpensive experience gift and it's something our kids look forward to. And I think if we didn't do game night snacks, they would be pretty choked. Anyhow, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and you have a blessed new year and stay safe on New Year's if you're going out. Um, lost my train of thought. Anyhow, I got some exciting for you next, next week though. Got some exciting things. <laughs>